In this quest, we delve into the lives, fortunes, and legacies of the wealthiest Arab monarchs of the present day, who stands as pillars of the opulence. Let's get moving! We will begin with King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the current king of Saudi Arabia and a major player on the international stage. He ascended to the throne on January 23, 2015, following the death of his half-brother, King Abdullah. He was born on December 31, 1935. As the member of the Saudi royal family, King Salman has had a significant impact on both domestic and foreign policy. His reign has been marked by reforms, regional challenges, and attempts to modernize the economy of of the kingdom. His Vision 2030 initiative is one of the most notable features of his reign. This ambitious plan, launched in 2016, seeks to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy away from its heavy reliance on oil. Vision 2030 aims to transform the nation by promoting tourism, entertainment, technology, and renewable energy, among other industries. In addition to empowering women, enhancing education, and enhancing infrastructure, the plan seeks to create a more dynamic and self sufficient economy. It is important to note that the wealth and financial standing of royal family members can be complex and subject to change based on a variety of factors. As a result, any estimates of King Salman's wealth are speculative and subject to considerable variation depending on the source. His estimated net worth was approximately $100 billion, making him one of the world's wealthiest individuals. The various sources of his fortune included oil, investments, and business interest. It comprises the Saudi Arabia government-owned oil company. It is the largest oil company in the globe in terms of production volume. It is believed that King Salman has a substantial stake in Aramco. SAMI, also known as Saudi Arabian Military Industries, is a state-owned defense corporation. It designs, develops, and manufactures military equipment for the Saudi Arabian Armed Forces. He is also the founder of the nonprofit King Salman Center for Disability Research, whose mission is to improve the lives of individuals with disabilities. He also owns opulent palaces such as the Al Yamama Palace in Riyadh, which serves as his official residence. It is said to be one of the most expensive palaces in the world. The palace is a large complex with more than 1,000 apartments. In addition, there are the Ergo Palace, Jeddah Palace, Riyadh Palace, and the new museum Turif Palace. The following monarch King Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan of the United Arab Emirates and the Greater Middle East. He was born on January 25, 1948 and is a member of the Al Nayyan ruling dynasty, which has been important in shaping the modern United Arab Emirates. As both president of the UAE and Prince of Abu Dhabi, he is well known for his leadership. Sheikh Khalifa became president of the United Arab Emirates on November 3, 2004, following the death of his father Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan, the nation's creator. His presidency has been characterized by the UAE's sustained growth and development as well as an emphasis on preserving its position as a regional and global player. Sheikh Khalifa wields considerable influence as the Emir of Abu Dhabi, which is not only the largest emirate in terms of land area but also the richest because of its vast oil reserves. Abu Dhabi has invested its hydrocarbon revenues in infrastructure, tourism, finance, and real estate among other sectors. Under the leadership of Sheikh Khalifa, the Emirate has also pursued economic diversification initiatives to reduce its dependence on hydrocarbons. The Abu Dhabi Economic Vision 2030, which outlines strategies for diversifying the economy and assuring sustainable development, is one of Sheikh Khalifa's notable initiatives. This vision includes initiatives to promote non-oil sectors, improve education and innovation, and enhance the overall quality of life for UAE citizens. The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority was rumored to be among the enterprises in which Sheikh Khalifa had a stake. The ADIA in Abu Dhabi Sovereign Wealth Fund, AGNOC, also known as the Abu Dhabi National Oil Corporation, is the state-owned oil corporation of Abu Dhabi. It is the greatest petroleum enterprises in the United Arab Emirates. Alder Properties, the Emirates Investment Authority or EIA, and the Mubadala Development Company are added to the King Ventures. According to Forbes, 
he is reported $830 billion in assets. The Qastar al Watan Palace, the official presidential palace of the United Arab Emirates, is among King Sheikh's luxurious possessions. It is situated in Abu Dhabi and is one of the world's most expensive residences. It has more than a thousand chambers and is adorned with gold and marble. It is estimated that the yacht Azam, the largest yacht in the world, is valued over $600 million. Sheikh Khalifa was well known for his passion for Rolls Royce automobiles automobiles, including a Phantom, a Silver Cloud, a Corniche, and a private Boeing 747-8 equipped with every opulent amenity. Bahrain's current monarch, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is the next individual who will speak on this topic. He ascended to the throne on March 6, 1999, following the death of his father, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who was born in January 28, 1950. King Hamad is an important figure in Bahrain's history as he managed significant reforms and changes during his reign. Modernizing and expanding Bahrain's economy and society has been a hallmark of King. King Hamad reigns. Bahrain has pursued economic diversification initiatives under his leadership, concentrating on sectors such as finance, tourism, and services to lessen the country's dependence on oil revenues. This strategy is consistent with his vision for a more sustainable and dynamic Bahrain economy. Bahrain, under the leadership of King Hamad, has engaged in economic diversification to reduce its reliance on energy and develop sectors including finance, tourism, and services. These initiatives have contributed to the progress and development of the nation's economy. Bahrain's location in the Persian Gulf, which has historically played a pivotal role in its prosperity, is one of the factors contributing to King Hamad's luxurious lifestyle. Bahrain, situated at the crossroads of ancient trade routes, has served as a commercial center connecting east and west. The nation's strategic location has allowed it to capitalize on its role as a commercial hub, contributing to its economic growth and King Hamad's financial standing. The reign of King Hamad has been distinguished by an unwavering commitment to economic diversification. Recognizing the limitations of relying on fuel revenues alone, he has led efforts to diversify Bahrain's economy beyond its traditional sectors. It made Bahrain a regional financial center and strengthened its economic resilience. Bahrain also possesses an extensive cultural heritage dating back centuries. The country's modern identity has been shaped by its historical ties to pearl diving, commerce, and craftsmanship. The preservation and promotion of this heritage through initiatives such as cultural events and heritage sites enhanced Bahrain's appeal as a tourist and investment destination. The Rifa Palace, the official residence of the King of Bahrain, is one of his possessions. It is a large complex with over 1,000 gold and marble decorated accommodations and a variety of amenities. He is the owner of the Durat Al Bahrain, a luxury resort. This resort includes hotels, villas and apartments as well as restaurants, clubs and stores. In addition, he possesses a Boeing 747-8, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Bentley Muslane, Aston Martin 177, Ferrari Enzo, and Lamborghini Aventador. Well, that's a wrap for the richest Arab kings in the world. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. This is Luxify.